viewers and welcome back to the channel. If you're new and stumbled upon this video, then welcome. This will be a short video with some entertaining and peaceful visuals of the gardens when I was there a few weeks ago. Unfortunately, we were a little too early and even though it feels like spring outside, we were in fact still in winter. So all of the flowers outside had not bloomed yet. They are predicted to start mid to late April into early May. Nevertheless, we, as always, had a great day regardless. As you might have guessed, the Longwood Gardens Reimagined project is still in full swing and I got some proof of it during this visit. It has been about two years since I mentioned this reconstruction project or any kind of update recently. Here's a short clip of that video I posted back in 2021. Ah oh, yeah, what's that cold, fun, white stuff again that falls from the sky? Uh, starts with an S? Hmm, on the tip of my tongue there. Oh well. That was the last time we got to see the old facilities before the new project took over. And they are really hard at work putting this dream into reality, as you will see throughout this video. So an interesting thing during our visit, it was normal busy, but nothing crazy, and some lulls once in a while. We talked to a few employees, and one of them had a unique story for us about this plant that's coming up here. It is apparently extinct, and I say extinct in air quotes, because technically it is, but it has also been cloned. This particular plant here in Longwood is not a clone, however, and originally came from a wealthy horticulturalist in Africa in the 60s and willingly shared some seeds of this plant to, yes, other wealthy horticulturalists around the world. And of course, DuPont was one of the few wealthy people who obtained some of the seeds. So the plant you see came here as a seed and flourished into what you see here over 40 years later. The video does not do it justice of the massive size. It really puts you into perspective if you like got sucked into Jurassic Park and you find yourself taking shelter underneath this thing. This was one of the first times we got a story like this told to us about one of the plants in the conservatory. Uh, it makes me wonder what other stories some of the other plants may have that we don't know. As always, thank you for watching. Stay tuned for updates, whether it is Longwood related, stuff just for fun, or maybe my next stop motion video. Hopefully a new one will be in the works by summertime. Definitely a compilation of taste testing is uh, coming up soon uh, when I get the chance. Again, thanks for watching and have a wonderful day.